ever gotten out of bed and wondered what a bad day? I'll tell you what a bad day is. On August 6, 1945, Sutomo Yamaguchi, a 29-year-old naval engineer and two of his colleagues were preparing to leave the city of Hiroshima after a three-month-long business trip sponsored by their employer, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. Now, who wouldn't be excited about finally returning home to his wife and son? But on his way to the train station, he realized that he had forgotten his ID and returned to his workplace to get it. So far, so good, right? Let's continue. Around 8.15 that morning, he was walking towards Mitsubishi's shipyard docks when he heard the throne of an aircraft above in the sky, then saw a bright flash of light. But as luck would have it, he survived the blast, but of course was badly injured. When the noise and the blast had subsided, surrounded by falling ash, he saw a huge mushroom cloud of fire rising up high into the sky. The sun hid behind the dust and debris from the atomic blast. In the middle of all this death and destruction, he thought to himself, if he stays there, he will die. Yamaguchi wandered in dismay in the destroyed ruins of the once Mitsubishi shipyard dock, where he found both of his colleagues alive. They spent the night in an air raid shelter. Upon hearing that the trains were still working, they had a sigh of relief and made their way towards the station. But the journey was not going to be a pleasant one. They encountered swarms of melted corpses, collapsed buildings and aflamed ruins of what once was the city of Hiroshima. Bridges had collapsed and at one point they were forced to swim through the wood blocks of floating dead bodies. And like any of us in that situation would do, he decided to get back to his hometown, to his family anyhow. Oh come on, it's not over yet. He did get back to his hometown, which was <coughs> Nagasaki. On August 9th, Yamaguchi thought it was best to report for work or the failing economy won't be kind to him in the office when his company director demanded a full report on Hiroshima, explaining his wounds, he recalled the events of August 6th, for which his bosses thought him to be mad. They said, how can a single bomb destroy an entire city and laughed at him. Still wondering about that bad day, are you? But wait! This one's got a happy ending. Yamaguchi lived on for 93 years and died of stomach cancer. Okay, not so happy, but come on, after all that! Talk about getting lucky, huh? No, no, not that lucky. Just that he also managed to save his family. Yamaguchi's wife and son were out to buy ointment for his burn injuries, away from their home which was much closer to the site of impact and which did not survive. It's a weird wild world, isn't it? <laughs>